This is a slideshow presentation of an ancient megalithic site called Samaipata, or El Fuerte de Samaipata, in the high jungle of Bolivia. It was made by two different cultures, first supposedly the Stone Age Chane people around 300 AD, and then the Inca in the later part of the 15th century AD. Now this is an example of standard Inca construction that we know about. And this is a model of what the giant sculpted outcrop looks like. Highly unlikely that this was done by a Stone Age people who came into the area from the Amazon around 300 AD. More likely, this is a much, much older megalithic structure that the Inca found. Now there are these two straight cuts, as you can see, first brought to the public's attention by Eric von Daniken. I think he believed that they were a landing strip for a spaceship, but uh, standard archaeology believes that the two ceremonial snake shapes. And this is simply to show you that I've actually been to the location. I've been to Samaipata twice. And here we have the giant outcrop. You can see the trapezoid-shaped niches, typical of megalithic sites in and around Cusco, Peru. And then in contrast, in the foreground, you see the Inca construction. Compare that with the megalithic, heavily, hev uh, heavily weathered work in the background. And here again, Inca in the foreground, the megalithic in the background. The stone is sandstone, so it's not particularly hard. And these interesting square-shaped depressions are only, as far as I can tell, also seen at Oyente Tambo in the Sacred Valley of Peru. This shows you the sense of scale of how big the outcrop is. And here again, you can see the extent of the weathering, likely thousands upon thousands of years of erosion from wind and rain. And there is a walkway that allows you to inspect it because you're not allowed to walk around on the surface anymore. And this is from the other side of the walkway. Once again, at the bottom, you can see the Inca work, which is stone and uh, clay filler. And then on the right-hand side, you see the stone outcrop. There in the background, is another Inca period construction, again typical of what we see in places like Cusco, Peru. And then farther into the jungle is another Inca construction, stone and mortar, in comparison to the giant sculpted megalithic structure there. Once again, we see the Inca at the bottom, and then there's an Inca wall going across the megalithic outcrop on top. And another view of the trapezoid shapes. And here again, a comparison between the Inca on the bottom and the older megalithic above. This is seen, or looking at the outcrop from a distance. And there, once again, a comparison of the Inca at the bottom of the screen and the older megalithic sculpted outcrop on top. Also, about half a kilometer away is a chincana, which in the Inca language means maze or tunnel. Unfortunately, it's now filled with garbage. And it looks like it's simply cut into the earth, not into the bedrock. But this shows you the profile, 16 meters deep. And then it takes a dog leg and goes in towards the right. But some believe that actually it's a tunnel system that continues on. It's just it has been filled in over time 
maybe just due to age and destruction. And there again, you see the rough work of the Inca stacked stones on the bottom compared to the megalithic work above. And curiously, in a small museum in the local town of Samaipata, a display of elongated skulls. And these could be from the Inca time period because it was known that the Inca did do cranial deformation until it was outlawed by the Spanish colonial people. And also a mummy of a probably a two-year-old baby with a very enormous elongated head. So the best way, of course, to look at any ancient site is with the use of a quadcopter. So I've slowed this down to half speed and was allowed to fly over the outcrop to give you a sense of the scale and all of the sculpting that was done on the surface of this giant outcrop of stone. And then here in reverse, you look down on the surface, you see all the cut out impressions into the bedrock stone and the extreme amount of weathering of the surfaces. This is thought, to believe, uh, thought by many to be the furthest eastward construction um, site of the Inca. And as is typical of many Inca sites, they discovered a megalithic ancient work such as this and then decided to build a small city around it. Thank you so much for watching.